This is an introduction to the OpenHIE Health Worker Registry. The OpenHIE Health Worker Registry is used to bring health workforce information together from a variety of sources and represent that information in a common format against common standards in order to facilitate the use of uh, health workforce information across the health information system. There are two um, standards for that are applicable for the health worker registry. The first is a data dictionary um, of the minimum data set for the health workforce registry. Um, this has been established by the WHO and contains the minimum data fields um, that are needed um, for a health workforce registry. The, the what is in data is needed to know about a health worker that's common across many business applications. This minimum data set of health workforce information has been mapped against the Care Services Discovery International Standard. This Care Services Discovery Standard provides a common way for various systems and health of health workforce information to represent and share the data um, between themselves. If we return to the landing page for the OpenHIE Health Worker Registry, um, what we have here is the management in to access the data um, that's in the, the, the registry. We have a search screen and we can begin with a search of the by name of the records in the health worker registry and we find that we have a, uh, a new uh, matching record. If we click on that record we get the very basic information attached to the record um, which includes their gender, languages they speak, specialties that they provide, um, their status, their cadre, and their date of birth. If we want, we can go into more detailed information and view the full health worker record. And here we will see um, the initial information that we saw in the, in the base record. We also see more detailed information such as the address. Um, here is the mailing address. Uh, we also have various contact points such as a phone number, an email address, a fax number. We are also able to see any identifications such as a national ID, a driver's license, a passport number that are associated with this health worker. We can see any credentials that this health worker has such as a certificate, uh, a license from an professional counsel, the, the number of the certificate, the renewal date. We also can see the place of work of this health worker. So what health facility um, is this health worker associated to, as well as the services that are offered. Um, a health worker can have, uh, of course, a name. Um, and they can also have multiple names, which is a common problem um, when we look across uh, health workforce information systems that a the same health worker could have a different name in multiple systems depending on um, typos or or whether the full name was used whether a person has been married and records have been updated um, in any case all of those various names used by the health worker can be um, attached to that health worker record and finally, we have the organizational affiliation. Um, this is the organization or institution under which the health worker is uh, associated to. Um, so this could be, for example, the Ministry of Health. Um, if it could be in uh, a faith-based organization, um, and this could be whether they are being managed by that organization or being paid for by that organization. So if we had a donor agency that was providing um, the payments to that health worker, we could capture that information under the organizational affiliation. Um, once we have that organizational affiliation, we can also look, associate the facilities that a health worker is working in underneath that organization. So for example, a health worker might be working for Ministry of Health um, um, part-time as well as a, a donor-funded project uh, part-time and 
um, and might be working at different facilities. So we can capture that level of information and that detail of information with the health worker registry. Um, there are two ways that we can get information into the health worker registry. What you're seeing here is the management application or management interface for the health worker registry. This can be in either a read-only mode or a read-write mode. If it's in a read-only mode, we're not allowed to change the information in a health worker uh, about the health worker. This would be useful in a case where we have an existing HRIS system uh, and we're pooling data from that system using that care services discovery standard. In this case, we wouldn't want to modify the records in the health worker registry because that record is being maintained in another system. If we are in the uh, a read-write mode, then we can just uh, add and edit health workers directly within the health worker management interface. Um, so depending on the source of the health worker information and um, how that is being maintained, we can um, address both options uh, within the health worker registry. The health worker registry um, does not actually store any data in an, on its own. Um, it doesn't have a, a database where it's storing the, the records um, for that. Instead, what it uses is the Open InfoMan, which is a um, reference uh, implementation of the care services discovery standard. So all the information that we saw in the management interface is being um, pulled from the um, Open InfoMan informa Information Manager. And here you can see an example um, in the where we have multiple documents from um, multiple systems, uh, HRIS systems at once. So we have um, for example, Benway State in Nigeria, Nasarawa State in Nigeria, we have um, the Ministry of Health in Liberia. What we can do in the Health Worker Registry is we can choose the um, remote directory or the, the remote document that we want to um, select the information about the health workers on. So we can view um, in one common interface information across multiple um, uh, health worker information sources.